Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, with Kakadash, and double honors to those great millstone while lunch is true, and also to the Hophilet that is scattered abroad. I like to say shalom and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The type of day lesson is no faith. So, I like to say shalom to all our listeners and learners. Hope this will help you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh. By Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So a lot of people are going around saying that they are prepared, saying they are not afraid. But when that time of trouble come, a lot of people are going to give up, going to betray one another. And about they do not have the faith. They do not believe. But that is about they constantly want to uh, 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 fake it before they can think they can fake this truth. But that is about you cannot fake this truth. The Lord know every one of the elect. And that is about he know who is real and who is not real. And so a lot of people saying, oh man, I'm prepared. I have a lot of supplies. I have this, I'm prepared. No, you not. You will not be prepared for this. Because the Lord said it will be a time of trouble that we have never seen before. And a lot of people still thinking that they're a good case, still think they are saved and filled with the Holy Ghost, still calling on white man Jesus. And I about when that time of trouble come, a lot of people gonna give up and be faint or and I about they're gonna line up like clockwork and take that you know what. And I about that we constantly warn you left and right. And the one that do have the faith, we have that blind faith. You know what I'm saying? We constantly walking in the path of right, constantly rolling in the spirit each and every and coming on a total subjection to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. but a lot of people say oh I'm ready I'm good I'm not worried about this I'm not worried about you'll be the one going to crumble like a cookie and a lot, a lot of people still thinking that they're you know what I'm saying that you know they're built up in the faith you know they don't have any works you know works without faith is dead so it works hand in hand so a lot of people don't understand they're thinking that they you know they can just uh pray to the Lord and the Lord gonna take care of them no it don't work like that. if the Lord is not dealing with you then you will be destroyed a lot of people say they have the faith that the Lord is dealing with you. Well, we're getting ready to find out. It's called the hour of temptation. And a lot of people are getting ready to give up. And I deal about it. They're getting ready to go into the ways of the, you know what? And they're getting ready to take that, you know what? And I deal about it. That, you know, the Lord already know who is the elect. And I deal about it. That we are the one that's signing crime. Warning you left and right. Without faith, it is impossible to please Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And the one that held the faith is the elect. And I deal about it. We constantly doing his will each and every day through the spirit and the power of Yahweh. So the title of the day lesson once again is No Faith. So we'll get started. Uh, we'll go to just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Let's go to Proverbs chapter uh, 24. Just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Sorry about the lighting and hope that you get edified by the lesson today. Proverbs chapter 24 and verse 10. And it reads, If thou faint in the day of adversity, thou strength is small. So that is about a lot of adversity, a lot of great trials and great tribulation is getting ready to come upon us. And that is about will you will will you be prepared? And a lot of people would not have that mindset. They still have that kind of mindset, still thinking about this world. And that is about we're not worried about this world. The Lord overcame this world, and we also would overcome this world because we have the faith. And that is about we constantly believe in the thing that we have not seen, but yet we believe. The kingdom of heaven is almost at end. And a lot of our people are getting ready to fold. They're getting ready to bend. They're getting ready to betray one another. And I about we constantly warn this time of trouble is coming. It's going to be so great. It's, but he said, before the elect say, those days shall be short. So now, let's go to uh, just a quick lesson through the Spirit. Let's go to Jeremiah chapter 51. Just had about two or three scriptures. Just a quick hit. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 51. Jeremiah chapter 51, one moment. Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 46. And it reads, Unless your heart faint, and ye fear for the rumors that shall be heard in the land, a rumor shall both come one year, and after that in another year shall come a rumor and violence in the land. Rulers against rulers. So that everybody that you know it's you know that lined up with uh Matthew chapter 24 it tell you, you know you know rumors of war, you know, earthquakes in diverse places, all sorts of violence all across the world. You know what I'm saying? Uh uh, uh World War Three has begun. This uh, global reset is getting ready to happen. The new world order, you know, and, and also the implement of the of the RFD microchip. We constantly warning you left and right. So it's a lot of rumors are going through through the earth right now, and now there's a lot of violence, and a lot of people are getting faint or they constantly uh, uh, don't know what to do because they do not they do not uh, uh fear the Lord they don't have any knowledge of the Lord he said oh uh, 
he said in uh, uh, Hosea chapter uh, 4 verse 6, you know, because you have rejected knowledge, you know, because you have rejected uh, uh, me, I will also reject you. And I did about it, you know what I'm saying? Because you have a lack of knowledge, I, our people are destroyed for that. And I did about it, a lot of people are constantly having great fears falling upon because you hear, you see that what's going on in the Ukraine and Russia, seeing what's getting ready to go down to Iran and Israel, a lot of things are bucking up. But the Lord said, first that shall come, before the end come, which in fact is um, it's the beginning of sorrow. You know what I'm saying? That must come to pass. But the end is not yet. So lock it. And everybody's there. You know, we constantly warn you left and right. But a lot of our people don't have the faith. You know, everybody constantly saying that they are built like that. But the only one that is built like that is the house of David, the elect. We will not be a foe. We will die for the truth. And a lot of our people is not going to die. They don't want to catch hell. They don't want to go through levels of uh, uh, adverse. They want to have uh, be at ease. They want to have everything at their fingertips. But the idea about it, everything is getting ready to be stripped from you. And I about it that, you know, out of you seeking the Lord, if you're not seeking the Lord, you will you are getting ready to die. And I did about it. we constantly warning you left and right. You must seek the Lord why he can't be found. No faith. A lot of our people do not have faith at all. So now, let's go to our last and final script. No, let's get a quick precept before we close out. Let's go to 1 Peter one moment. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. Uh, getting off work and uh, sorry about the lighting, but I'm um, going to constantly do the Lord's will. Let's go to 1 Peter one moment. Just a quick hit. Uh, 1 Peter chapter, let's see what chapter I want to go to. Chapter 4, chapter 4 and verse 12. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 12. And it reads, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. So a lot of people thinking that, you know, if you lose your job, you lose your wife, or a lot of people turn against you. Don't think that it's a strange thing, which in fact, you know, the elect, we're going through all sorts of levels of adversity. All sorts of things are happening to us. But that is about, we're constantly holding on to what we have. The Lord said, hold fast what you have. And that is about, we're holding on. We're constantly enduring because we know we are very close to the second coming of our Lord and Savior. And that is about it. You know, you must have faith. And that is about it. We're constantly doing this will each and every day. We believe. And that is about it. Uh, everyone else constantly saying that they believe. Oh, yeah, it's going to be all right. He's going to save everyone. No, you do not believe. You do not have the faith. You are living a fairy tale and you get ready to die. And that is about it. A lot of our people do not have faith. And that is about it. If you do not have faith, the Lord cannot deal with you at all. And you're getting ready to be cut off. We constantly warning you left and right. So we're not worried about all the levels of adversity that we're going through but the lord said that you know through much tribulation ye shall enter the kingdom of heaven so we are battle tested and we are ready to go and out of the battle that you know we cannot wait we knowing that the kingdom of heaven is very close so now let's go to our last and final script and we'll close out here let's go to uh Sirach, just a quick lesson through the spirit so rock chapter two one moment so rock chapter two and we'll start up at the top at verse one so rock chapter two and verse one and it reads, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. So you must prepare for what's coming. And that's about the only way you will be able to prepare if the Lord is dealing with you. Not about, you must be built up. You must put on the whole armor of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, to withstand the, the, the wiles of the devil, the so-called white man, and all these uh, 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 heathen nations, and also the, the wicked two-third. And I didn't about it, they know we're not worried. We would not been a foe. We don't have a, a spirit of fear. And I didn't about it, we trust and believe in Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. So let's start back up at uh, Sirach chapter 2 and verse and verse 2. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Verse 3, cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at, at thy last end. Verse 4, whatsoever is brought uh, upon thee, take, cheerf take it cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a lower state. So a lot of people constantly saying that they love the Lord, saying that they have the faith, they believe. And I did about when those level of adversity come upon you, you crumble like a cooking because that did about you were not you was not grounded and seated. The one that is grounded and seated and constantly would not bend a, a, a fold, would not move is the house of David the elect. And I did about it. The Lord already know 
who is doing his work. He already know who the elect is. He's getting ready to return. So now let's start back up at uh, Sirach chapter two. And we start back up at uh, verse uh, verse five. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable means in the furnace of adversity. So a lot of people, which in fact is the elect, the prophets, uh, the believers, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and a few women that's in the truth. We're going through all sorts of here. All sorts of uh, things are going, are coming upon it. But I deal about it. We're taking it cheerfully. Even though we're in our lower state, we're constantly being humble. And we come, we constantly uh, asking the Lord to have mercy upon us each and every day. Because we know when that time of trouble comes, the Lord said he will preserve it. He said, my servant shall eat. They shall be hungry. My servant uh, 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 shall drink. They shall be thirsty. And I did about it. We cannot wait. Woo, we cannot wait. And I did about it. That we constantly want. We have faith. And I did about it. That we want the word that is coming. This temple world is getting ready to be destroyed. But a lot of our people have faith in a, in a world that is getting ready to be destroyed. And that's a damn shame. So now, let's start back up. Let's go to, uh, that's uh, Sirach chapter 2. Uh, and we'll start back up at verse 6 Believe in him and he will help thee Order thy way aright And trust in him And who is trusting him? The elect The one that was preordained to get this from the beginning And I did about The Lord is constantly showing us mercy And I did about We we, 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 we knowing that we are very close. All these Bible prophets are jumping off the page Left and right And I did about it That we are very close So now Let's start back up Let's drop down to Sirach chapter uh, Sirach chapter 2 And we'll start back up At verse 13 Woe unto him That is faint hearted For he believes not Therefore shall he Not be defended Verse 14 Woe unto To you That have Lost patience And And what will ye do When the Lord Shall visit you So that is about A lot of people Have get have given up A lot of people Fell out of the truth Which in fact Was a part of the uh, uh, was, was, was in this truth And fell out of the truth and I did about the Lord is getting ready to destroy you. And I did about it, you know, if you cannot go through these levels of uh, adversity or uh, go through the straight gate, you will not make it. You will not enter into the kingdom of heaven. So a lot of people are, are, are saying that they trust the Lord, say that they, they fear the Lord. And I did about it, when the time of trouble come, the Lord said, he said, in that day, then they shall know that a prophet was among them. You're going to know the men of the Lord because they're going to constantly shine each and every day. And I did about it, we're standing, we're standing. We standing tall and we stand on fire for Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah. And that about is that, you know, we have the faith and we also, we believe the report. So now, let's start back up at Sirach chapter 2 and we'll start back up at our last and final verse, uh, at verse 15. And it reads, They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his way. Let's read that again. Sirach chapter 2 and verse 15. They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word and and they that love him will keep his way and who fear the lord and who is keeping his way that is the elect the house of david and i did about that we're constantly warning you left and right over and over we are keeping the faith and i did about it. we have faith in works and i did about it that you know what i'm saying and i did about it. the lord is constantly showing up a uh, 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 mercy each and every day and i did about it that you know we constantly warn you left and right we are read upon that time of trouble that we've never seen before. We constantly warn you left and right. We are sounding like a broken wreck because we knowing that this great death and great destruction is right upon the beginning of sorrow. And we are we are here. It is at the door. And I did about it that, you know what I'm saying? Hey, this truth is getting ready to be pulled out of this world. It's called famine of the world. And I did about it. Anyone that did not receive that truth during that time, you will be destroyed. We constantly warn you left and right. So a lot of people do not have the faith. Don't have don't believe, not consider, constantly not paying attention at all. And we're in the end time and all hell can break out at any given time. So it's time to seek the Lord. And I did about it. We constantly warn you left and right. But the title of the daily lesson, once again, is no faith. So I'd like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rekha I'd like to say, Shalom.